So we're back in uh, Tom's garage with his MX-5. Um, the car's coming together now. Uh, I'll obviously show you clips of it and Tom will explain what's been going on. But as you can see, it's actually looking like a proper car at the minute. Starts up, it's running. It's got its wheels. Primed. I think it was last time, wasn't it? Uh, partially. Yeah. Well, I guess, uh, since the last shows you, it's pretty much all in primer and that now, so everything's ready for the final wet sand in 600 grit and then ready for paint, which if you look around you can see the spray boom is sort of half built at the minute. Um, just trying to do everything myself to save costs and that. Uh, before we get to the front of the car, the first major difference from last time is I've now got my wheels sorted, which I ordered about this time last year. They came in November and then I finally got around to getting some tyres and test fit them. Quite happy with them. They're a much tighter fit than I was expecting just because of the, the tyres I had on my last wheels, although the offset's the same. The tyres are a bit smaller so I had a bit of issues there but um, I'll have my ride height another 10 15 mil lower than this and just keep it functional for now until I decide what I'm going to do but it, it does uh, have a fair bit of travel I think. Uh, I shouldn't have any issues with rubbing now. The front I did have more issues with, I've had to cut a bit out of the bumper but I haven't had to change the stock lines of it, there's a return on this edge of the bumper here normally about 10 mil. and I've basically just cut that off and sanded it and smooth and now that um, clears the tyres. I've also pretty much maxed out the camber uh, on the stock setup at the moment which I'd have rather kept a bit uh, less than it is but it's still about, it's about 3 degrees so it's, I can claim track and not be a stance faggot. <laughs> That's what I'm about the video. Hot boy, stunts now. Uh, so yeah, the bonnet I did by scratch, it's aluminium, so it's it was a bit more difficult than just cutting some steel out and welding it, so I pretty much had one shot at uh, cutting and sorting it out. So I just I actually thought you bought a new bonnet when I came in. I thought you bought one like this purposely. Yeah, I pretty much just spent a few hours taping it up, making sure all the measurements were right, and then used some steel guides. Uh, tape down to it to guide the angle grinder and I just took my time and stayed careful with it. Show them the vents. There's a, like a, it's actual functional. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's, there's vents in it now. <coughs> and I pretty much just used Sikaflex to bond all that in from behind. As a, if I tried to weld that aluminium it would have walked all over it. It's only, it's less than a mil thick so. Big reveal. The good news is that it works. Yeah, so the engine does run now. Um, it's got new coil packs on. Stop. And <laughs> the yeah, the cam position sensor and the old position sensor are both. Uh, I don't know exactly where they are, so I'm surprised it fired up, but it was quite lumpy. But once I get it timed and all that sorted, it should run fine. Got it booked in for tuning at Evo Tune on the 8th of the next month. So the aim is to sort of have it at least ready enough to go and get it tuned by then. Um, the only thing I'm waiting on is just paint my intercooler piping and mount the new fuel pressure regulator and then it's pretty much ready to go but it does it does start up now. Definitely looks way cleaner. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to see it. It's a bit more messy on this side because this, this is just temporary here. It was just to, yeah, it's unfinished. to get it started but there'll be pretty much no hoses on this side either so all, all the wiring is tucked. All about the hoses. <laughs> Yeah, all the way is tucked behind the wings now, as you can see on this side, which doesn't have the wing, and it's protected by this hose. What turbo was it again? T28. Yeah. Of the S14. Yeah. So pure, I remember. Long term plan is to forge it and go a bigger turbo, 350 ish, and see how it is at that. I think it should be pretty crazy anyway. Oh. Yeah. Well, I think last time I had it tuned, it was 202 horsepower and then I added three off th three psi ish uh, so I was probably about 220 ish uh, at that point this what? time I'm going for 250 or 60 depending on uh, I think that'll be enough for some of yeah how crazy I feel I think that's about the limit for the stock engine yeah what, uh, what's it worth uh 1050 ish yeah that, that's quick oh, I'd be a bit heavier now with the fiberglass panels on so I'd just say 11 1150 with driver or something yeah I think well, my, my E30 was uh, 1050 with fluids, and that was like 230, 240, and that yeah. was pretty quick. 420. 420 blizzard. It's 
It's going to look sick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be happy with it. Looks like it's winking at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty retarded. That's one. Stop. So what are you doing with the interior? I don't think it will start. What's that? What are you doing with the interior? Interior is all saying sock uh, for now, just the cost of money. Um, it's one of the easiest bits to sort of upgrade on the move rather than painting. But you've got a block of that. Yeah, oh yeah, the, it was originally a tan leather interior, which I've uh, just, I'm swapping everything out for black. It'll be better just be black. Definitely. Yeah, so black carpets. The seat, I like the stock seats anyway. Yeah, they're uh, so there's going to be black cloth. Uh, black dash. I imagine we'll put some buckets in at some point, will you? Yeah, it's all on the list for the future. Mm. So, bucket seats, and then... <sighs> to be honest, I don't think I'd really want to change much about this interior, apart from the seats. The, the pre- nice and subtle. They're pretty uh, simple cars yes. anyway. And simple, so nice interior. You don't need a bunch of... St- like, you're not going to save any weight or anything. You're going for a dash, aren't you? You're going to get the wrong dash off. I've got two at the moment, but uh, apparently the wiring changes quite a lot over the years, so the two dashes that I've got are both slightly wrong on the wiring harness and right. uh, I wasn't clever enough to save the wiring harness off my old dash. Is it, this one an import? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's probably oh, where the problem is. Well, the, the other two dashes I've got are off imports apparently, uh, but they're a little bit different. Well, too much of a job to modify the wiring harness for them to make them fit. I think you do have to get the proper plugs and connectors anyway. Yeah. Well, just defy the point, isn't it, I guess? Yeah. Um, Again, good stuff. Yeah. Paint soon, won't you think? Gas struts front and back, apart from this one's not mounted on now. Uh, same with the front. So, modernising it a tiny bit where I can, but I'm not that bothered. It's going to be uh, loud and squeaky. Yeah, it's, it's obnoxious anyway, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so. very stiff anyway. Isn't it? And that's about waiting and that a little bit more, pretty loud. Should be cool. Mm. <coughs> Bit of a shame how much bloody camber I've put on the rear. Yeah. yeah it's all about machining. I've like yeah, I've got wider tyres on, but then I'm probably just getting the same contact bash. But yeah, I can uh, the the welded on pretty easily, so if I can get somewhere that can do it accurately enough, I can knock them out of it and have some camber back in. Yeah, so these are steels. Yeah. And you could, in theory, move the centres, yeah? Still be just as fucking heavy, like. But, uh, yeah. They do, they do look good, though, they suit the car. Yeah, I really like it. I was going to paint them the same colour as the subframes, but I think I like them white. They look good. So I'm going to leave the centres white and. You can always change it for eventually. I think, I think, uh. Really good. That's cool. So when do you expect paint and Um I don't know what's hard to say, it was meant to be like I need to talk to you about after you've said suppose. Does he? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well tune in's on the eighth, so I was hoping to have it done by then, but things crop up. I think it's realistic like. Yeah, uh, it should be it should be doable. It's just literally sorting that front wing out and then everything's just final wet sand and uh, spray. Uh uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's, just, that's all I need to do. Yeah. So we've uh, we should be back anyway. I'd like to do some videos on the kite. Oh yeah, that's building. Can do. So. I'd have to go away. <laughs> I didn't have to go away. Yeah. So it was good to come back and see the progress. Obviously, the last time you were here, we were working on the engine together, and we weren't sure. Well, we were pretty confident it would have run fine, but it was nice to see that it was running. Um, so now, we, now Tom's got the wheels and the bodywork's almost there, ready for paint. It's nice to see everything. So maybe better progress than your car, anyway. Well, yeah. Maybe a couple of weeks' time, we can come back again after this video comes out, and it, maybe it'll be in paint and for the race. I believe. Imagine when it's still more feature anyway. So yeah, it'll definitely be a feature video because it's this. This is something that stands out. Tom's obviously put a lot of work into this because he's done it all himself, and. I think, really, it's, I don't know, I guess it's kind of special doing it yourself, isn't it? Like, to, yeah. to, to build your own car and you, you feel like you've accomplished something more than just getting someone else to do it for you, so, mm. it's cool. I agree. Mm. Say something retarded.
But you do it with me, just put the camera zoom in my face like that. Does it make you feel awkward? No, no, it's good times. <laughs> oh. Um. You got something else? To, something else to say? No, I'd finish. But I just I was gonna say something stupid, but I can't think. Say it. something stupid. This is what I'm currently driving. 